Hello, Blitz fans of all ages, it's me, Plum Castle here, going over what's new in World of Tanks Blitz, and right now, quite a lot actually, so let's get right into it. So, you may have seen Wargaming's video saying there were three events going on at once, well, there's quite a bit going on, let me tell you, and we can look right in the news section and see that there's actually quite a lot going on. So first of all, you can see the one that is highlighted at the moment. Uh, I hope you can see, I don't actually have mouse enabled, but you can see what can you expect in May. This is their video that they released as soon as it loads, you can see right there. So that was telling about these events, but now let's actually start to look at these events themselves now that they're out. So first of all, it says nine days of premium. The time of epic battles has come. Complete a special mission and claim your reward. So this happens uh, right here. You can see for North America, it's May 8th to May 9th. And you can see you have to get five kills in a battle with over 2,000 damage. Now, honestly, if you're getting five kills, if you're in a tier eight, you're probably getting that damage already. So mostly just shoot for the kills but definitely try to make sure you got over 2021 damage which is a really odd number to be honest uh next this is all going on right now from may 7th to may 10th i believe it is or something like that but you can see we have discounts we get five times more xp for the first victory a uh, bonus to on converting the typical stuff uh, the main thing for me is the discounted garage slots now I tend to hold off buying slots until this comes out. These kinds of things aren't super common, but they're common enough that I figure I'll just hold on to my gold and spend less of it on slots later. And you can see here, uh, equ equipment slots are also discounted, camouflage, it's essentially discount day. And you can even see here that if I go look at slots, you can see we do have the option, which I'm actually going to go ahead and get some slots here because I'm a little bit low. So now let's go back into the, our feed here and let's look at the other things going on. Uh, realistic Battles is back. So Realistic Battles is actually one of my lesser favorite modes. It, I use it strictly to grind for the most part. You can see it goes from May 7th to May 10th and then it has a break and then May 14th to May 17th. So it's not around for a whole lot of time and it's got quite a big break in the middle of there. You can see there's avatars, but we're not really interested in realistic battles. It's only one of the things going on right now. Now, technical airdrop. This one's interesting. Uh, so what they're saying is simply play battles from May 7th to May 13th. You can get a tactical airdrop container after any battle in a tier 5 to 10 tank. You are guaranteed to get a technical airdrop container for your first victory of the day in any tier 6 you received during a battle pass operation. This is interesting. This is the first time I've ever seen Wargaming actually implement uh, battle pass tanks. However, uh, since most people would be playing realistic battles like I have been, you would go over to your uh, battle pass tank, but you can see here, uh, unable to join the battle, unable to join the battle. I really have a big problem with Wargaming uh, making it so that they bring it a fun mode out, but then in order to get other re rewards, you have to not play the fun mode. I find that very hard because I tend to just grind in the fun mode anyway and often lose out, like the Lowe's of Sherman. I didn't get the Lowe's of Sherman because I was too busy playing the mode. I, why would I play normal mode for a tank when I could have fun over there? I don't know. It just gets really hard sometimes. But you can see here, when you open up these containers we can see here that they can include five common boosters up to 25,000 credits which honestly isn't a lot rare containers include up to 40 emblems and one random re reward from the list okay so I forgot to mention it must be common containers and then you got rare containers and the rare containers hold five rare boosters go figure and up to 2,000 for XP and then we go on to the epic containers which get 80 emblems and one random re reward from the list five epic boosters go figure again and a certificate for the monthly epic trap for the monthly trap epic camouflage I'm not sure what that is uh, legendary containers include up to 200 emblems and one random re reward from the list 15 gold boosters certificate for nine hours of premium account and uh, I guess that's a guaranteed is2 I'm not quite sure I'm, uh, it doesn't actually say 
Now, these are the things you can get with emblems. You can actually get the uh, IS-2 1945, I believe this is, as well as a camo, some boosters, and you can also buy emblems, which is kind of ridiculous. Uh, monthly trap top. Okay, so this is the camouflage you can see here. It's kind of interesting, like almost half. It looks like a Frankenstein the camo just a little bit and then here we have a look at the soviet is2 1945 which here are a few pictures of that now the rest of the facts i've pretty much gone over everything already how you use these things uh actually i have not gone over how you use these things so you can see here in the store right here you can get stuff for emblems now i played for about an hour and I only received one container, and not only was it one container, it was a common container. So I really didn't get a whole lot, to be honest. And for the sake of it, let's go ahead and open that now and see what we get out of here. I'm not expecting a whole lot. Okay, 20 emblems. I think that was the max that could have dropped out of this box, which is kind of surprising, uh, all things considered. Oh, great, and they expire too. So that's always fun when Wargaming says your stuff's going to expire. And really, I think that's it. Not my Oh, wait, there is one more thing. Uh, the OBJ, they were putting it in crates, uh, of course. Should be around here somewhere. I'm not sure what happened to it, but if I go over, maybe it's in the crate section. Anyway, I'm just going to go over to the uh, Soviet. Okay, here we go. The Dancing OBJ 260, which is kind of a weird title, to be honest. But here you can see we have the OBJ-260. This was a tank some people were waiting for. However, it is in crates. No surprise there, really. Um, it is a Tier 10. I did not realize that. I thought it was actually a Tier uh, tier 8, to be honest. But you can see it comes with a garage slot. Uh, open up to... Th you get up to 30 epic boosters, up to 5 certificates. Normal certificates. Uh, you can, for the most part or at least every time yeah you always get an a uh, one object 260 charm uh i'm not sure how many charms it takes to co totally complete the tank so i'm i'm not sure it, it my guess is it would either be 10 i would think 10 but i just don't know so don't quote me there so it says for legislative reason reasons these bundles are not available to players in belgium okay that was random uh didn't need didn't need to go over that uh Pike Legendary Camouflage. So it's got a camouflage that, like the name suggests, looks like a pike. Which, honestly, it doesn't even... It looks okay. It doesn't look terrific. And here's a quick look at the OBJ itself. And I'm curious to see what happened to... Okay, here we go. At the bottom, open containers. Let's see what uh, they mean by that. It seems that part of the store might be broken. I'm not sure... Because they were in the store not that long ago. In fact, I looked at it just a little while ago. But they're gone for right now. I'm not sure what's going on. But with that, I think that's all I have for now. Hope you all enjoyed. And as always, have fun, good luck, and happy tanking.